Hello YouTube, this is SniperZend, and this is a, an, a Call of Duty 4 video. I haven't made one of these in a long time, but, uh, well, that's because I don't like Call of Duty 4. Yeah, Call of Duty 4, uh, well, I already knew this, but once I came back, I realized that, uh, it's nothing but a camper and a uh, frag fest. Camper fest and a frag fest, all at the same time. So I decided to give them a little taste of their own medicine and camp a little. And uh yeah, I do I do successfully do this. I start camping and bam. I swear to god, if I could just I don't care if I have to play with Rings of Redemption, Hutch, Sean Nanners, fucking Sandy Ravage. Well no, not Sandy Ravage, but you know, all those people. I don't care if I would have to play with all of them. If they rushed, then I wouldn't give a crap. I just can't stand campers. I cannot kill campers. And I really can't kill people who already know where I am somehow. Like if they hear me or if they have a UAV or a heartbeat sensor, then I generally do lose encounters. Now, I actually never... Well, maybe I did know that about this at one time or another, but I completely forgot that you did shoot like that. Honestly, I don't know if I ever did know that or not. But yeah, here I am just running around on downpour. You know, it seems like all of my friends absolutely hate downpour. And I never really saw the problem in it. Downpour isn't exactly that bad a map. Yeah, I, I, I swear to God. People just... Every single person I've ever met. I've never met a person who likes downpour. And honestly, it's not that bad. I don't know what it is with people in downpour, but... Uh, you know, it isn't that bad. People always uh, cite the rain when it comes to this map. They always say that the rain obscures their vision. And honestly, I don't see what they mean by that. Anyway, this is a free-for-all. And, uh, yeah, free-for-alls are okay. I don't, uh, I don't exactly remember why I did a free-for-all in the first place, but it actually turned out pretty well. So anyway, here I am, just running around again. Unfortunately, I don't really have much to say about this. You know, it's just Call of Duty 4 not doing very well. I mean, I've already said this before, but I'm going to say it again. There's not a single good gun in Call of Duty 4. No, there's just... Everything takes one. In Call of Duty, uh... Call, in Modern Warfare 2, it'll take about two bullets to kill anyone with any gun. In this game, it'll take, you know, three. I, uh... You know, I've actually had this idea before. I've always thought about... Uh, I've always thought about playing hardcore in Call of Duty 4. I really need to uh, consider doing that again. Anyway, I'm reloading, so I decide not to uh, try to knife that guy because I'm afraid he might turn out And I'm being very careful now because, well, you can see that I have a UAV right now. And when it comes to UAVs, there's there's been a glitch in Call of Duty 4 and World at War where if you have a UAV in a free fall and you die, you lose that UAV. They finally fixed it in Modern Warfare 2, but I don't know what the hell is wrong. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, here I am. I'm on like a 12 kill streak now. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good somehow. Yeah, the the MP5. That's not too bad a gun, but I've always found that I cannot see people. Well, this is not. This is another problem with Call of Duty 4. The muzzle flash. I'm. This was never a problem in, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I don't know if it was a problem in World at War or not, I kind of forget. But when it comes to Call of Duty 4, the muzzle flash on weapons makes it almost impossible to see people once they start running away from the sun. So if you shoot at someone and they start moving around, it's really hard to see them. Then again, I've never really, uh, I've never really used a gun that has very good sights. The MP5 and the uh, AK-47 both have recoil that makes the sight obscure the person you're shooting at. And the saw is the same way, but the saw just has a really crappy sight. Then the, uh... I don't really remember what else I have, unfortunately. But anyway, I don't really have to talk about much more. And I don't know how I get to see that guy. Whatever. So I decided to call my... I wait to call my UAV because I don't want to die and lose it. And, uh, well, I call it. Run around a little. 
I expected this game to end once I hit uh, one of the jumps to 25. So this kind of surprised me when the game ended at 125 points. Game ends at 25 kills.